hello guys and welcome back to another video a lot has changed since our last video um or at least a video that i was actually here talking to you guys uh sadly no face cam today but we're working on it uh but yeah i just want to show you some stuff that we've been working on so we can move over to the characters because a lot of it has to do with the characters uh as you guys can see our selena is pretty well invested in now she has her signature weapon in addition to um, her signature set all level 45 uh, leveled up completely uh, we're also working on Shu I think that's how you say her name uh, we have her five star weapon triple res with her set currently being worked on and the other character we're working on is Heishma I believe uh, I don't know uh, she has a five star weapon we're working on her six star because this character I want to have her six star specifically and she also has her set we need to level it up but she has it which is cool um, and I actually really like her final coating. I think it looks really good without the hat. And then we also were able to secure a Noan, Noan Arca, which I thought was nice. Uh, it's just good to have him on the account in case I want to do something with him in the future. Uh, I actually might have him, her, and Selena on a team. Um, oh yeah, and Selena's now double S, uh, which is pretty good. As for Omni Frames, quite a lot has happened. Um, our Vera Garnet, I would like to start off with. Our Vera Garnet, of course, you know, has her full resonance skills in addition to her five star weapon. But if we go to train and we look at evolve, we'll see that she only needs two more shards in order to become double S. And once she hits double S, she'll be able to use her um, lightning fall like as soon as, like right after her uh, thing. So kind of like Rosetta's leap skill. Uh, it's really cool. I really like that ability for her, and I used it before, and it just feels very clean and fluid. Uh, our Bianca is double S. I don't remember if I had her like this before, but she's double S now. Our Selena Capriccio, Capriccio is double S, and, um, you know, we started hyper-tuning her things and fixing the resonance skills because I just toss resonance skills on, and then I fix them afterwards. So I'm fixing Selena's right now. Um, our Rosetta is double S with her, with her like, new skin, signature weapon, signature set, uh, and we're working on her resonance skills now as well. Live Luminance is still kind of in between, however, her she's really close to triple S. We just need one more copy of her, or, you know, pain cage uh, copies, but there's a lot of ways to get shards for live luminance so this is not going to be difficult this is just going to be uh, a thing of you know time awaiting our nanami uh our tank nanam is at 6k full resonance skills now and her signature weapon which is pretty nice uh we are also going to be working on live imperia pretty pretty soon i believe she needs fill up the fill up set uh so we'll be getting that soon uh, a newcomer to the triple s is number 21 it was very cool uh, we just got her randomly. It, it's really weird because if we go into... Well, that's probably the last character I have to show to you guys. I mean, uh, Changyu is triple S, Lee's triple S. Vera Rosin is triple S now. I don't think she was before. Uh, and then obviously Dawn is triple S. And she actually has her set now. Um, Einstein's not supposed to be here, but whatever. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, eventually, we'll be able to get a skin for her. Sadly, I don't think this skin's coming back, but I really want it. Uh, we're going to have to farm those pretty, pretty soon. Also, I like that now you have... It, like, rotates between assisted. So, right now we have Selena, Karanina, which is affection level 7. I really like this character. Uh, Rosetta, as well as uh, Starvale. And then, I want to add someone else, but I don't know who. Probably Tank Nanam, right? I like Nanami. Oh, but Bianca. Ooh. We got the left unsaid thing going on, which I think I'm just gonna mull it over and get uh, Bambinita uh, her things real quick for shards, just so I have them. Um, yeah, we'll use this team. We have Lucia's um, leap leap skill, which I thought was really cool. Uh, uh, the red orb specifically, so you hold it after, and she like slides. It's really cool. Yeah, the thing is, I have been playing this game, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just really haven't been in like a creative mood or like a mindset, I just like don't know what to make. And it's kind of difficult to make stuff too, when you're feeling that type of way. Um, so, you know, 
it, it yeah, it, it sucks, but uh, I'm trying to make content again uh, more regularly because it hasn't been too, too long since I made something. Um, but, you know, still. Alright, ready for this? It's really cool. Um, I, I never stopped playing, is the thing. Um, it's just, What's our next mission? I guess I needed a break or something, and motivation's at, like, an all-time low. Um, I'm just going through motions, you know. Uh, but that's pretty much what we have for the account. We're going to hop into the war zone. Um, our fire team is a little weird, so... Uh, oh, actually, let's look at what the overall is. Each time you heal a target, your characters gain 40% fire damage. So, should we just do double heals here? So we can always have uptime on the fire damage. I don't know if this is like optimal, but like seeing as I don't have an attacker and taking it arms does a decent amount of damage. I don't know. I feel like having the double heals on the team would be nice because then we'll have uptime on that on that forty percent fire damage. I don't know, but that's what we're going with. Um, that that's my thought process behind it too. So I feel like I, I make some decisions, you guys are like, wait, why did you do that? Because you have this or you have that. Like, it does make sense, but, um, you know. We'll hop in, see what kind of stuffs we can do here. I think we could get a higher score and hit 1.3, maybe 1.4 slash 5. Um, because, you know, I, I believe in this team. And we have to use her as the burst unit that she is. Just like a lot of burst damage. Uh, five at least? Oh, it took seven. I'm, I'm okay with seven. Okay, Bianca still does a lot of damage here. Okay. Maybe maybe pretty successful, I don't know. These are Oh, we should have used Q actually. As one. Oh, I thought we were going to be behind him. Now it looked good. Tsukunamis. Oh, nice. That was very good. What? Oh, look at her. Being all stylish and stuff. Honestly, this is like a... Mm, I don't know. We use Nami, wait for it. There, and then there. Cool. Oh, that was fun! <laughs> that was fun! We were just spamming the blue orbs. We had so many. Oh, we gotta wait two years. There we go. Trigger that, trigger that. We have to switch to Bianc. Can we do this? I don't know if we can. Oh, last second. That was cool though. Uh, it didn't change anything really. Maybe like the amount of damage we did right there, but last second, that was nice. That was fun. I like that. Like the time went away. Okay, 600k. The time went away. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh man, but she's dark team's gonna be insane here, right? As long as we're hitting things the correct way. Oh, that's so sad too. This is almost a triple S team. I mean, this is almost a full double S team. That's what I meant to say, which would be like, you know, that's so cool.
The overture really do begin in though. Um, to me, oh, oh, okay. Let's get some charge here. All right, Musashi is dead. Oh, we get a full burst here because we triggered the matrix. It's very nice for us. I actually cannot get enough of Selena Capricia. Combat is so fun to me. I probably shouldn't use this here, but we're going to just to clean up. Where are the rest? All right, do 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 do. That solos the whole. Sheesh. That's huge. That's actually huge for us right there. Oh, we use Y here. Holds one two. My goodness. Beautiful. I love when it just flows, you know what I mean? Like the audio just flows together because we hit it at the right time. Oh! It doesn't get better than that. It does not get better than that. I, I, I actually can't wait for the new um, Dark Attacker eventually. When she first came out, I was not a fan, but then as I as I played her, this is on CM by the way, as I played her, um, I don't know, I was just like, oh shoot, wait, maybe this is like the vibes. Oh, come on. Why was this guy so tanky? Oh, we never get the burst off at the end, guys. Power of the Ascension Network. Understood. Okay, six, 600. Um, okay. Oh, we couldn't hit three. We couldn't hit three. Ah, whatever. Um, yeah, that was our war zone. That was our war zone. That's our war zone, guys. Um, let's see what's in the shop. We only have 180, so we're not buying anything. But that's that's been this uh, account update slash uh, war zone Wednesday. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to make uh, content more. Um, you know, it's just sometimes it's a little difficult. Hey, this is for our Luna. Very cool. Um, yeah, sometimes it's just, you know, a little difficult to get out of bed. So, yeah, that's it for this week's Warzone Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a like and subscribe. We're going to be making more content in the future and some other stuff as well that doesn't strictly pertain to uh, PGR. So, I hope even the PGR people that are here for this game uh, will also watch the other stuff because, you know, it's going to be a fun time. Um, but, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure you share this with your friend, your dog, your cat, your frog, and peace.